Well, good Thursday morning, South Florida at 6 a.m. right now. I'm JC Burns. I'm Eric Yatsi. Let's get that forecast as we head towards the weekend. Our weather third meteorologist Julie Jota is standing by. Julie, knocking on 80 plus degrees already this morning. Yeah, definitely warmer, Eric JC, in South Florida than yesterday. And that all plays a part in the forecast because remember, overnight rainfall drops our temperatures. We did not see rainfall once the sun did set last night. So therefore, our temperatures really weren't able to drop all that much. We are in the lower 80s. Miami, Fort Lauderdale, 85 degrees in Key West, 76 in Pembroke Pines. We're also a little warmer near the coast because the winds are now in the lower levels moving in from the southeast. So it feels like temperatures near the coast warmer, more humid as that ocean breeze from the Atlantic is pushing on shore. Feels like temperatures in the 80s and 90s for the Keys. We are under that marginal threat for severe weather for much of northern Broward County into West Palm Beach. But again, I want to make sure you understand just because Miami data is not under this threat for severe weather, storms still could be expected and they could still be strong. My models are hinting everybody seeing that chance of showers today. They just won't be as widespread. Highs will be in the 90s before those storms do roll in. But for right now, all is quiet on the radar. Let's go to the tropics. So while you're sleeping, if you're just joining us, we do have a newly formed tropical depression behind Brett which is a tropical storm. I want to focus on Brett because this system is bringing the threat for heavy rain and gusty winds for the Leeward Islands and the Lesser Antilles. It's about 200 miles east of Barbados with winds of 70 miles per hour. It's moving west at 15. National Hurricane Center has St. Lucia under a hurricane watch and a tropical storm warning. We have much of the island chain under a tropical storm warning and watch as it looks as though winds could be anywhere between 70 to 65 miles per hour. The system does move through the area before we get to say goodbye to the system by the weekend. Heavy rain, gusty winds. We're expecting rainfall totals possibly up to 10 inches. Here's Tropical Depression 4. The best news about this system, not a threat to land, and neither of these systems are a threat to Florida. We are expecting the system to move to the west at 12 miles per hour and then eventually take that north turn. I'll have a lot more in our local forecast coming up.